Hello, and welcome to my prediction for Boruto episode 4. Now, the title of the episode is A Battle, A Ninja Two Battle of Gender, or Ninja Two Battle of Sexes, and now, it's definitely going to be a very one of those. This is definitely an episode that showcases the age this is currently being targeted to is lower than Shippuden. It's one of those very childish boy versus girl, girl versus boy episodes. For, uh, that, but it, it does make sense. I mean, I, I remember when I was in like, I don't know, like sec first grade kindergarten, that was very common. It was boy, a lot of the time the teens and like gym class would be boy versus girl because we, we all thought it was fun for some reason. Because we all, because not because we were sexist, just because we and thought we were better than the other person, yet because we in general like to think people like it, the people that were the same as us were better. We were egotistical and were children. So, it, so I guess it will work here, but the plot of the episode well, from what I know is that Boruto takes the last Nyabi, Nyaki Saba bun, I believe? I'm not exactly sure, but he takes the last bun of the bun. And Serana complained that he was a man, he would let her have it because he's a girl. And Boruto replying with, you're not a normal girl. Which, I can assume he's referring to the fact that he doesn't view her really as a normal girl because they've known each other for so long. He kind of views her as a member of like a cl really close family member or like, a, they're such good, they're, they've known each other since birth. So he doesn't, when he looks at her, he just sees a, his friend, not Throt of the girl. So, they start fighting, and Shino will go in. Shino will appear, and he'll stop the fighting, and he says he'll prepare the fighting ring. Which will be, um, when, uh, the boys and the girls fight. Now, uh, I'm giving it to the girls, because, because Dorada. I mean, Dorada is Sake child. I mean, I may be biased when I say this, but I think Dorada is the best out of all of these kids. Maybe besides Awabe, I mean, it's, it's Narada, she's Sake and Sakura's daughter. I mean, you have to realize, before she became a Genin, she was capable of enhancing her strength with her chakra. I mean, what the, I mean, what the hell? I mean, that took Sakura two years to learn. I mean, and Sakura's chakra control is greater, if not rival, do not aim. So, I mean, Throt is really good, and I'm personally going to give it to them. They also have Chocho, who can use the expansion just to... I mean, yeah, the, only, the biggest of them in the book is the boys have is Chikadai, really. And Chikadai, who, of course, is, is decently... Up, I mean, I hope he's smart. I hope the last episode's run strategy was just a one-time thing. I hope he's not actually... Those are his great strategies. I hope he's actually smart. Yeah, the whole Nara clan thing, they're all really, really smart. But, uh, yeah, so that happened. Um, you know, I mean, it really it could go either way, honestly. And I think the girls just happened to bed, and the girls happened to Uchiha, and, well, we know this series and Uchiha's. Like, the Uchiha's are hacks and hacked and broken. They are stupidly OP, and they are always better than everybody else. So I have a hard time seeing the girls losing it because Uchiha. But no, but into all seriousness, um, I believe Serata will be infected by this dark chakra. And what I believe will happen is that um she she will know. I not I think she'll know she's under control. Now my reasoning for this is I think because she's in Uchiha, she'll be able to tell. I think because she's Uchiha and the NG is Sakura Sake's daughter, she's Uchiha, I think she'll be able to tell something wrong. Maybe she'll be able to remember what happened, I'm not sure. But I think what will happen is Dorada being infected and then taken out by the dark chakra will lead to her telling her mother about it. And then I just get, I, be, I believe whatever this dark chakra is. I believe it's something artificially created, meaning the best person to figure out what it is is probably Sakura, because she's a medic, and would also mean she would understand, like, organisms, and I think whatever this dark chakra is, it's organic. I think it's organic dark chakra. I don't think it's... I think it was artificially created, so I feel like Sakura may look into it, maybe then Sakura could then contact Sake, and maybe, the, maybe whatever this dark chakra is, 
will somehow tie into how why he's hunting down Shin and the Shin and the guy that stole the shining gun in Naruto Gaiden. Maybe that would explain the Dark Chakra and how he got this lead. Maybe Serato will tell Sakura something and she'll tell Sake something and that will explain how he ended up in that situation. I'm not really sure. I just felt like that was an interesting idea for Dorada to tell her mother and her mother can so, and we can start having the adults become a we can start having the villain we can start having the villain become involved in what's going on. Now um another thing I want to say is I believe we'll probably get a little bit of Naruto next episode. I feel like if anything we'll get we'll get a scene where Naruto here but like Boruto and Dorada are fighting. I'm ho I said, this is what I hope happens. We may or may not get this. But I think we may get a thing where Naruto find out Boruto and Sarada are fighting. And Boruto and Sarada kind of sits in his chair and he's like, Boruto, kiss Sarada that. And Boruto, go kick her ass. Like, because, because, because you're better than her. By far. But I feel like that'd be a really nice scene. And that'd be a really cool scene. Actually, what the awesome is that Sakura was there as well. And he's like, no, Sasuke kid is better. And Naruto's like, no kid of Sasuke is better than mine. It would be really nice if we could use this episode to give us a bit of that Naruto and Sasuke rivalry. Even if it's through Sakura and Naruto. Just debating over like, like, whose child is, whose child is stronger, Sasuke or Naruto. I thought that would be really cool because I really like the Sasuke-Naruto rivalry. And I really hope they somehow bring it into this. Even if it's only short things, like in the Boruto movie, when they're competing constantly. Something like that. Like, I hope they have a thing where Naruto is like, my child, but with a mocking children of a bet. Like, my child will kick the girl's ass because she's Sake kid. And Sakura's like, no, because Sake better than you. Like, that would be really cool. Like, that would be really cool. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say for this episode. Maybe we could get more Hinata, too. I really want, I want more Himawari. I mean, I don't really, I don't really care about Hinata too much, but it is nice to see Hinata and Boruto interact. Because it really shows a relationship with Hinata. I also want uh, more Himawari. Give, like, it's a battle between Sethsin. Himawari is a girl, right? Can we, can, can we like, have Himawari somehow get involved because she's mad at her big brother or something? Like, I think that's a gag. Can we do it? Please give up more Himawari. Like, come on. But yeah, that's about all I have to say for this. I have talked about what I want and kind of hope I have next next week. I'm not sure if I'm going to do these prediction videos every week. I will start doing One Piece prediction videos again. But yeah, um, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. And subscribe for more videos. And the One Piece Nation signing out. And tell me what you think will happen in Boruto Episode 4 in the comment section down below.